The moment of truth has arrived in this American League Division Series. We welcome you from Petco Park, one of the four MLB bubbles. This will also be the home to the League Championship Series. The Astros await this Game 5 of the 2020 American League Division Series presented by Ut Snacks. The New York Yankees, the Tampa Bay Rays, bitter Eastern Division rivals now coming down to a winner go home matchup in this fifth game of this series. DJ LeMay Hugh, Aaron Judge, Aaron Hicks at the top, John Carlos Stanton, Luke Voigt, and Gio Urshela. Voigt homered last night. For the Tampa Bay Rays, when Tyler Glass now is on the hill, it's win day. His last 10 starts, the Tampa Bay Rays are 10 and 0. The shadows are out. Sun shining brightly. The marine layer is not come in. Don't know if it will, but it's tough to hit right now. Glass now makes the play. Low throw, but it's dug out by G-Man Choi. They've been making the big man work over there the last few days. Excellent defender at first base, and Glass now has it out to start his day, which is today. <laughs> There's a one hopper out to Adamas. Excellent shortstop for the Rays. Another wide throw and another great play by G Man Choi. And they're testing their first baseman in the first two plays of this game. Two men are out. Here is Aaron Hicks. And on the first pitch into center field, Kiermeyer goes back. And he's there, and that's a good start for Tyler Glass now. Eight pitches, a one, two, three inning. Raise batting order. Austin Meadows gets the leadoff spot. He'll be in right field. Brandon Lau, Randy Arosa Reyna. In the middle, it's Choi Diaz and Wendell with Adamas, Kevin Kiermeyer, and Mike Zunino. Signed an historic contract this offseason past Aaron Boone's office. Almost like a look. You got tomorrow? I said, I got tomorrow. And a 98 mile an hour wipeout fastball, and Meadows is gone on three pitches. Three balls and a strike. And it's ball four, so there's back to back plate appearances for Lau. He's drawn a walk. Signs of good things to come, perhaps, for the Rays. A lightning rod here, and he is drilled. So Cole hits him on the first pitch. And now two men are on with one away. Rosarena, the long, slow wow. walk to first base. Staring down Cole also. Choi popped a game one home run off Garrett Cole. Went to the opposite field, pulls that one on the ground. LeMayhew thought about second. He'll take the short out at first. Hmm. And that's a second out. He's got an ERA in the low ones during that time. And Cole lets Diaz get away. That's a walk. Bases are loaded now in this first inning. And a 3 2 pitch. And it is a called strike three. That is a big pitch early. Garrett Cole gets the strikeout and the Ray Strand. The base is loaded. He had to work for it. On the ground, green light 3 0. Big bouncer to Wendell. And there is out number one. Stanton retired. And so he has to split the grip on the fastball. And he loses Void here. Glass now issues the walk. So they're comfortable with him as well coming in in any situation. There's a 99 mile an hour fastball. Glass now strikes out Urshela. In the air to right field. That's going to hang up there. Routine for Meadows. So far, so good for Tyler Glass now. He works around a walk. Faces four batters in the second. Puts up his second zero. Tampa Bay coming to bat. Rays had the bases loaded last inning. Cole able to get through it and a swing and a miss. He struck him out on three pitches. And the 2 2 and a fastball at 99. Boy, Garrett Cole, whatever he was trying to wrestle loose in the first inning, he has found it now. 1 2 pitch and a wave and a miss. Garrett Cole comes back with three consecutive K's in the second inning. Rays had him on the ropes. Now the Yankee ace is locked and loaded. He told his manager he was ready to go. He said he felt nothing the next day as Gardner draws the walk. So the second walk allowed by Glass now. Play opportunity. There's the big curve and down he goes. Hit the top of the zone that time. Got a generous call. And Higashioka is out. No argument from the Yankee catcher. According to plan, one time through the batting order. Glass now is out with DJ LeMayhew coming up. So obviously Glass now so valuable to this organization moving forward. They want did not want to push him. And now Anderson who has pitched and gets the real big outs for this team 
you see his numbers. That's what it has brought him here. That's a chance for a double play. Backhanded. Lau steps on the back. Throw to first in time. A double play to end the inning. That could not have worked out better for the Tampa Bay Rays. And an excellent play by Lau. Does it himself. 4-3 on a double play. Two outs. One swing of the bat. Cole to Meadows. And a lazy pop-up. Long run back there. That's Urshela who's oh. over on the ship. Makes a beautiful catch. See so Urshela, you can see, say, I, I got it. I got it. He was saying I got it all the way. Both outfielders got himself at another full count. He's seen a lot of pitches last three times up. And he chased one that time at 100. Lau, a little over aggressive. Was on their postseason roster last year, and he's been a breakout star this postseason. Not this time, though. Cole strikes him out. Another punch out for Garrett Cole. He's got seven now. And the Yankee ace is locked in through the first three innings. Get a double play ball off the bat of LeMayhew. Just two pitches last inning. Now Judge in the air to right field. That ball is well hit back at the wall. Meadows looks up and it's gone. Aaron Judge gives the Yankees the lead. First run of the ball game on a Judge opposite field home run. So the Yankees strike first. And Aaron Judge. He's got three hits in this postseason. They've all been home runs. One ball, two strikes, and down he goes. Nice block back there by Zunino. Anderson comes back with a strikeout of Hicks. The postseason homers. There's a bouncer. Nice easy hop for Adamas. And Anderson comes back strong. Retires three in a row, but not before Aaron Judge delivers one to right and the Yankees strike first he found that short porch here at Petco Park one nothing Yankees Rays coming to bat bottom of the fourth Yandy Diaz G-Man Choi and Austin Meadows all big parts of this offense eighth pitch of the at bat in the hole and it's dropped by Torres if he backhands it cleanly he's got a chance to get Diaz who's still dealing with the after effects of that hamstring injury. He has the runner at first. And Wendell in the air to left field. Lazy fly ball to Gardner. He'll make the play and Diaz retreats to first. Ten pitch battle. Trust me. Three and two. Two outs. There he goes. And Adama swings and misses. Cole with another fist pump as he strikes out his eighth batter. Works around an error. A swing and a miss. Anderson strikes him out. Urshel is gone out number one of the fifth and a shot back up the middle of base hit Torres got a hitters count and a single up the middle for a knock Jeter Rivera Pettit Messina said it was a blast he has a club option for 2021 made it known he wants to stay ask anyone beloved is an understatement there he goes Higashioka pops it up skies one in the right center Meadows is under it and Nick Anderson gets through his portion of the game gives up a run an Aaron Judge Homer one nothing Yankees the Rays are caught up Kiermaier into center field sounded like he got good wood on it Hicks is there to make the play just shy of the wall Kiermaier flies out out number one how about that incredible 18 years later and down goes Zunino. Garrett Cole burns one off, and that is another strikeout number nine. Cole's got two outs in the fifth, and in the air right field. Judge going back. He's at the wall. He leaps. It's gone. Judge could not get off a jump at that ball. He hit the wall. Austin Meadows has tied this game at one apiece. A big moment in the game as Meadows delivers the long ball. Hey, at 6-7, Judge was right there to steal a home run, but the wall got him. And Meadows was ready. Oh, he hit oh, his he... head underneath with that overhang. Ground ball to first, race to the bag. Cole is there. The inning is over. The neutral site, unfamiliar territory, Petco Park.
Fairbanks closed game number two when he threw 25 pitches in that game. 2 2 the count. Bouncing ball to Adamas. Nice easy hop. Out number one for Fairbanks. High fly ball to right. It's going to stay playable for Meadows. Routine form almost in his tracks. Another 3 2 into center field. Boy, what an at bat by Aaron Hicks. Just grinding through that sequence with Fairbanks. Impressive showing, especially here. Hicks takes off. Stanton takes a ball on 3 2, and that'll be two on now for the Yankees. And a swing at a miss. He got him. Triple digit fastball. Fairbanks strikes out Voigt. Inning is over. The Yankees strand a pair. Boy, you think these guys, they want it? it means a lot. Tied at one. And then Fox will handle the National League. Randy Arozarena on the first pitch. Sends it deep into left field. Gardner at the wall, and he's got it. Oh, Arozarena sends one deep, but Gardner is there to make the play. Once he caught it, Cole didn't know till then. I mean, literally, it was 10 seconds before he knew it was caught, and the bat flip to no avail. Rosa Reina, long, loud out, and Cole loses the argument. He's out of the game. And the Rays will counter. Mike Brasso will be the pinch hitter, so into the bullpen goes Aaron Boone. Yeah, he didn't give up a hit. He got five outs on 22 pitches. That's a shot up the middle, laying out Torres to his feet, throwing a first, not in time. It's a good play, but Brasso runs too well. Be a pinch hit single for Mike Brasso, and the Rays have a man on in the sixth inning with one away. A couple innings last night, he was dominant. That is low ball for Diaz. Had a bat flip on that walk. He knows. That was a success. And yeah, the 0-2 and Wendell down he goes. A strikeout for Bredden. A big out there. Second out of the inning. Two men on. Two outs. And Adamas hits it hard to right field. Judge is right there to make the play. And Bredden. It was a little wobbly but he gets through it. Gets the line drive out. Strands a pair of rays. We're still tied at one in game five. And he hey. got him. Caught him guessing. Right down the middle, Fairbanks. Complete innings in the fourth and the fifth. And a swing at a miss, Fairbanks. Two innings in the books for himself. Back-to-back -back Ks for Pete Fairbanks. A one, two, three inning in the seventh. A swing at a miss. Boy, Breton just wipes out Kiermaier. Threw him that breaking ball. Specific matchups with his two lefties. Zunino on the ground. Oh, it's bobbled by Urshela. Well, the normally oh. sure-handed Gio Urshela with a key error here. Zunino will reach on an E5. Meadows one out of three. Homer his last time up to tie it. And under this one, a mile high in the left center field. Gardner will call it. He's got it. And there is out number two. Zunino will retreat to first. Got a pinch runner over at first base. As you see, the numbers on a roll is Chapman. Had hamstring problems this year. Didn't pitch much in the eighth inning. Here's a one-two pitch. And that's in there. A called strike three right on the corner. Chapman at 99 miles an hour. Yankees work around an error. Diego Castillo out of the Tampa Bay bullpen. He is next up for Kevin Cash. See the numbers from the season. He pitched in game two and game three. 24. 3-2. Three, and he got him right at the bottom of the zone. Castillo perfectly placed. A strikeout to start the eighth. And a swing and a miss. He struck him out. Back to back K's for Diego Castillo. He's swinging away here. Three balls, no strikes. Takes ball four. And the go ahead run will reach. Sean for Hicks. Three infielders on the right side. And on the ground, Brasso right there. Nice easy hop for him. And that is the inning. Diego Castillo holds serve for the Rays. Puts up a zero in the eighth. Bottom of the eighth coming up. Tampa Bay at the plate. Rosarena on the ground. Torres 
Out number one for Chapman. He destroyed left handed pitchers. Chapman, no regular lefty. 3 2. Brasso sends one into left field. Gardner going back, and it is up and gone. Mike Brasso has homered, and the Rays have a 2 to 1 lead. What a moment for Brasso. Tampa Bay on top on the 10th pitch of the at bat. First career postseason home run for Mike Brasso. You could feel that coming as the at bat got longer. Yandy Diaz got the count in his favor. Diaz into center field. And Hicks is there for out number two. Considering what went on this summer, can't be a better moment for a team. And a hitter. Mike Brasso, year out. You just never know who's going to come up with that magical moment. Hey. That's a called strike three. The inning is over, but damage done. Now the Rays with the lead, two to one. Last call for the Yankees. And it is Mike Brasso who sends one out of here and sends the Rays ahead, two to one. To the ninth we go. See what he has in mind here. Two balls, two strikes. Stands hits six home runs in this postseason. And he takes a called strike three. Perez puts the tag on to secure it. Stand at about face. A strikeout to start the ninth for Diego Castillo. And a wave and a miss. Castillo with a strikeout. Back to back K's. He gets Stanton and Voigt. And Tampa Bay is an out away from the ALCS. Last hope for the Yankees to try to extend it in this ninth inning. And he hits a bullet. Oh, and it's caught at third by Wendell. And that's it. It is over. The Tampa Bay Rays in five games take down the Yankees. And the Rays are headed to the American League Championship Series. Diego Castillo picks up the victory, closes the door, pitches the final two innings, and it was a succession of multi-inning outings for all of the Rays pitchers tonight, and the Rays are moving on to face the Astros in the ALCS. The line shot by Urshela. That's extra bases if it gets by Wendell. Look at the ball almost, almost popping went. out of his glove. <laughs> Wow, almost busted right through the webbing and the last out of this fantastic division series that ends in five. And the Rays ecstatic team with the best record in the American League. And they eliminate the New York Yankees in five games here in San Diego. What a ball game, Ron. It was one of the best games I, I've ever seen. Uh, the pitching was so excellent the entire night that we thought that at some point one single swing at the bat was going to be the difference and it was.